Hi, my name is Seth and welcome back for another video. In this video, we are going to build the first gear that will be fixed to the shaft. The gear is conical or it's called a bevel gear and it seems very very hard but don't panic. The conical gear or the bevel gear is already on SOLIDWORKS library. We will just configure the settings to get the conical gear that we want. So let's begin by creating a new file. But this time we are not going to create a part design, we are going to create an assembly. Because only on the assembly we can edit the settings of a bevel gear from the library. On the part design we cannot edit the settings of the conical gear. So let's go by creating a new file, a new assembly file and I will show you how to create the bevel gear. Uh, so the library here is on this right side, design library, toolbox and click on add in now. Wait for a minute, good, now we have the toolbox so click on it and scroll down to until you find the easel file and here you can find power transmission gears and here you have the bevel gear so let's click on it there you go And this is the last one that I used that's why it's like that so here we have settings and now we will add our uh, our conical gear settings so here we have one okay the number of feet should be 40 good the pinions number of teeth should be 30 keep the pressure angle on 20 and let's change the face width the face width should be 8 the hub diameter should be 28 and the mountain distance should be 20 perfect now we have the gear that we need now we can click OK So now they show you another one if you want to uh, create uh, a lot of conical gears but we are not going to do that just click on cancel good now we have the conical gear that we need let's just add a color in and let's make it a golden color good click on ok and now what we are going to do we will save this gear but we will save it as a part so click on build and save the document and we will save it as a part and not as an assembly so let's change the type to part here and let's choose there you go this is our folder and I will call it uh, gear one good there you go now you can close this don't save and let's create a new file part design okay 
and now let's add our gear that we just created so let's insert our our part which is the gear one good so let's insert another another part which is the shaft mm -hmm. let's add it somewhere here good now let's go to insert uh, and let's add a feature called move or copy the body to move should be the shaft and for the mate settings I'm going to select I'm going to select this face and this one and then click OK let's see how it goes mm -hmm. perfect let's add another one insert features move or copy the body to move should be this one and the, in the main settings, in the main settings, I'm going to select this face and this one. The, so now the two parts are on the same center line. Let's click OK. And there you go. Now we have the form that we need. So now I'm going to add another feature called combine. And let's click on subtract. The main body is the gear and the body to subtract is the shaft. Let's click OK. And now we have the bevel gear or the conical gear that we need. So now let's change the color. Okay, good. And now we have the part that we need. So in the next video, we are going to build another gear with the same settings, but I'm going to add some parts to the gear. So see you on the next video and peace out.